So I'm going to try to do five things for the for the remainder of however long it takes. I have no idea where this is going to take me. And I'm very, very much looking forward to getting humiliated. Don't listen to the naysayers in your life and keep postponing your day one. Okay. Hey. So I'm testing out my new webcam. I just want to see the picture quality. It's not so bad. And I'm testing out a new light right there that's kind of giving me this little glow and recording in a separate microphone. So this is a brand new setup for me. And also this is a brand new kind of video for me. I don't do videos like this. I do it very scripted, very uh, like analyzed video essay, movie essay kind of a thing. I'm sure if you watch some of my other videos, if you're new, you'll find it out. But anyways, if you're new or not new, it doesn't matter. My name is Shri and let's waste some time together. So uh, I'm shooting this at midnight right now. It is 1.37 a.m. and I'm trying not to make too much noise to wake up the neighbors. So my voice kind might be a little bit low. And also I'm going through a blistering headache and uh, my nose is clogged. So I might breathe through my mouth a little bit. I'm going to be a little bit of a mouth breather today. But this is a bit of a nervous video for me. So I'm going to try to make it make sure I don't do any jump cuts or not a lot of jump cuts, not a lot of cuts, you know, because I've never done this kind of video before. I've always cut my video. I want to do this at one take. So this is going to be a kind of a risky thing for me. The reason why is because I have some things on my mind that I just want to take out, not vent, but kind of let the mind flow without interruption. So I'm going to try to do it. So if I do cut somewhere, I'm sorry, but I'm going to try to take, do it in one take. So I cannot determine the length of that video, this video, which also scares me a little bit, but it doesn't matter. So um, the microphone is kind of done. I don't want to touch it. I do have a little bit of a note, like I have like Seven, 10 or 12 sentences written on a notepad on my computer screen right there. So I, in, just in case I don't ramble on and on, but I just want to make this video, I just want to make it clear that I'm not making this video for you. I'm making this video for me and for you. And by you, I mean some of you that are trying to do something that has been on your mind for a while but you have some insecurity that's stopping you from doing it. So my video should, I think my computer, my, my electricity just went out. So I'm looking at my battery power. It should run for close to 20 minutes. So I should be done by then. So I'm making this just for the, the few of you who have that problem going on, just like I have now. I've titled this video day one, but it's sort of a white lie because it's kind of been day 21 of what I've been doing. But the reason why I titled it as day one is because for 21 days, I've been doing certain things that I feel like I'd be doing for a while now. Like I feel like I'd be doing this for a very long time till something stops me. I don't stop myself until something stops me. You know what I'm saying? So I feel like this is day one for the rest of my life. Day one from now to, I don't know how long I can live. Since I'm a type two diabetic, I'd have no idea. So, well, let's hope. But for a few days, like I said, for about three weeks, I have been focusing very clearly on just a few goals. Not very many, just very few goals. The reason being is that I have, just like you, just like everyone else in this world, a bit too much time on my hands at this point. Mine has an extra layer of anger and somewhat of like um, self self-diagnosis and self-therapy because I had been going to therapy for a while before the pandemic began and immediately after the pandemic 
everything stopped. My therapist couldn't contact me. I couldn't contact my therapist. Uh, I could contact her via phone and stuff, but I couldn't go to her place anymore. And it, it distance problem. She was somewhere else in a different state when it happened. So because of that, I had to take things on myself. We had been communicating for four months. For four months, we did a lot of progress, but we were doing cognitive behavioral therapy and stuff. So I had to take that into my own hands. And during the pandemic, I lost everything. I, I'm not even exaggerating. I'm not being, I'm not making a woe is me video right now. Okay, I'm not doing that right now. I, I really lost so many things. I had been dealing with type 2 diabetes for a long time now. That's, that's not what I lost. That's not what I'm lamenting about. I lost my house and I was working. I lost that. And I, <laughs> well, the good thing was that I had been working, but I had been living with my mother. So I've been able to save up uh, a, f a few, a few, I would say maybe three, four thousand dollars, which in my country is a lot. So I can live for another year or maybe year and a half uh, with just freelancing and stuff. So I don't have to look for a job right away. So that was a good thing. But the bad thing was that, well, I became ambitiousless. In that feel, in that uh, mindset, I found myself thinking, wait, uh, like. Let me just do something about this. Since I've already lost everything, let me just let me just find myself again. Let me just focus on a few things so be before my mind goes everywhere. Now, this is day one of doing five things that are really, really difficult for me. Doing some five really challenging things. Now, the reason why I'm making this video is so I, I, I can look at this at some point and be like, okay... I made a public declaration. I can't back out. I can't back out now. Also, so that if you are thinking of doing something hard, understand that you can't swallow an entire elephant. You can't break a whole mountain. You have to do it 15 minutes a day at a time. That's what you can do. That's all you can stomach. If you eat for more than 15 minutes, you're going to die. So that's what I'm going to try to do. So I'm going to try to do five things for the for the remainder of however long it takes. I'm not going to make plans of when I when I'm going to stop doing these five things. <clears throat> I'm sorry. I'm not going to make goals about what I want to achieve with these five things. I'm not going to make plans of how much money I'm going to earn doing these five things. I have no idea where this is going to take me. And I'm very, very much looking forward to getting humiliated. Now, the humiliation part, I'm going to keep that for later so we can discuss that. What are those five things? I've written it down so I don't forget it. All right. The first thing that I want to do, that I want to keep doing, not attempt, do. Attempt is gone now. I'm, I'm too old for attempt. Bull crap. Is storytelling. Storytelling, now that's a very vague word. What am I trying to say right? Now... By storytelling, I mean I always liked to tell a good story to people so that they are entertained by it. That has always been my goal. Whether it's a humorous story, whether it's a horror story, whether it's a story by the campfire, or whether it's written, or whether it's something spoken. I like to tell stories. That's always been something that's my that's that has been my escape. Sorry, my phone buzzed just a minute, so I turn it off. <laughs> I didn't want to do any cuts, but ugh, life gets in the way. What do I mean by storytelling? I want to learn different types of storytelling so I can tell all these things that have been in my mind, all the characters, the plots, all these scenarios. I want to put them properly. By that, I mean I had this um, interesting plot for a very long time. I just couldn't get to it because I had so many other things. Life had always been a part of it. So like I could never get to it. That's why I just want to focus on that novel first. So for a novel, what do I have to learn? I have to learn how to write it. <laughs> so I have to learn plot, dialogue, character design, um, humor. I have to learn every step that takes to create a good story. And then I have to learn how to edit it too, because I'm I'm not operating with someone else. So I've already learned that, like I said, I've been doing it for 21 days. I've been reading and I've been writing and I've been putting in the work. 
so far it's trash, but it's trash that I can edit. Hey, you need something to edit, you know. But the thing is, I can see a story we're getting shaped from it. And uh, the th- good thing about it was that I'd always written it down. Every time I thought about what's next with this novel, I'd always written it down. So I've, so far I have like 200 pages of content that I can jot down into a draft, into a manuscript. I can hammer it down and, and glue it all together and everything. So nail it all together, sorry. Um, I, I have content for that. The second part that I want to do is this. YouTube, podcasting. I want to verbally tell my progress and also on twitter i want to i don't want to make a video every single day regarding day one day two day five i'm going to do like progress reports now and then and i'm going to talk about like the different ways i'm handling the self-learning self-progress situation sure but i'm not going to do like a daily update kind of a video i want to put that on twitter so i can at least write on twitter like day two this is what happened day three oops i stumbled day four I'm going back up again. I've actually been doing that on Twitter. So now I've come to like day 21. So I've been doing it for writing and for, you know, like self-improvement stuff, but I'm going to do it for all the five things. So you can check out my Twitter. You can follow that if you want. So I'm going to put daily progress. I have been doing daily progress on Twitter. Uh, But for YouTube, I just want to have that confidence that I'd never had to talk. So that's the first thing. And there are other elements of storytelling that I want to do. I want to do film. I want to learn more about direction, all of that. Second, the second thing I want to focus on is fitness, exercise. That's not my strong suit. The reason why I want to focus on exercise is because I don't want to die. I've already been slapped with a type 2 diagnosis, type 2 diabetes diagnosis, That's, that happened to me when I was 22. 22. That's not a joke for me anymore. I was just, that, I would say that was one of the defining moments when I decided, you know what? Life is actually really short and I can't sit and teach or whatever it is that I think is right for me and do that for the rest of my life. Now, there's nothing wrong with teaching. There's nothing wrong with anything. But like I said, I want to tell a story I don't want to teach a story. That's the difference. So fitness is something that made me at least have the confidence to come in front of you right now on this pretty good webcam. I'm really liking the quality. I'm, I think I'm going to do more webcam videos. The DSLR, I'm still trying to figure it out. It's been six months since I bought that thing. I still don't understand the buttons, but still, whatever. Uh, it may exercising, just plain running and doing that, um, wait, that rope out there, um, on that yoga mat, just basic body weights made me lose about 88 pounds. I'm not even kidding. I can show you a before and after picture right now on my screen. Once I find it during the editing stage, I was very like committed to it. An ankle injury kind of put me back, but this pandemic really, really set me back because I was going to the gym for about four months before uh, everything went south. But I just don't want to just focus on like weight loss anymore. I want to focus on body improvement. But by that, I don't mean body modification. I don't, I'm not looking for like a shredded kind of thing. I'm looking for how much can I endure? So in fitness, I want to try out everything that I missed out as a child. And by that, I don't mean all together. Like I said, I'm going to do this for as long as I can for till there are grays in my hair. That's what I'm saying. I want to do this forever. So I want to try out dancing. I really like dancing as a child. I want to try out tennis for some reason, because I don't know why it's just, it's very energetic looking sport for me, sport to me. I want to try out some form of martial arts just in case, because I I live in a third world country, so it's a, well, it's not a safe place anymore. Um, I want to try out, well, gym, of course, once again. And I just want to keep focusing on body weights. I just want to do everything that challenges me in fitness. I've never done that before. I'm not an athletic person. I think you can take a look and realize it. I want to do that. So fitness, not for body modification, but just to get my health back. I feel like I barded it for, for, for dominoes. 
for the for for the for the longest time for like 12 years since I can remember so the third thing that I want to focus on is studying now this is something that people might be like what what is that a difficult thing for people yes for me it is because I've not been a good student my whole life and I've treated school subjects all of this as like an enemy of the state for some reason i don't know why it's i can blame it on teachers i can blame it on everything but it's always been up to me to focus on my academic you know behavior and yeah of course things can get a little boring but what i want to focus on studies is elements related to storytelling i want to study aspects of storytelling i want to study filmmaking I want to study video editing so I can make better videos. I've already learned some video editing, but I want to do more. I want to go into like graphics and animation and stuff. I don't know how far I'm going to go, but at least if I can l at least understand color grading, uh, audio, fusion, all of that. I really love the editing, editing software DaVinci Resolve, by the way. It's really good. But if I can at least understand that, filmmaking tends to make sense a little bit. That's what I want to learn. I want to learn a little bit of drawing because that had always been like a part of my childhood. But my father, the, well, the great man that he was kind of took that away from me. We will get to that some other day. But I really wanted to learn how to draw. That dream was just ripped away from me. And I think that's very unfair. Now, I don't want to learn how to draw as a professional. I want to learn how to draw so I can storyboard ideas to make short films and feature films anything in the future so uh, doodling is what I want to learn at least comprehensively seeing my idea into a visual you know just designing it out that's something I want to focus on at first and yeah if, if my art improves maybe someday like I said I don't I don't I don't know how long this is I'm gonna do this as long as I can do I'm, I'm not gonna focus on a career anymore or anything this is my career this is going to be my career. That's what I'm saying. So studying, studying aspects of storytelling, studying aspects of the fourth thing that I want to mention. The fourth thing is business. I really want to learn about the foundations and the mindset of business. Now, this is not going to be a lonesome task. This is going to be a task that I cannot learn, but I have to practice. I can learn about a few things about business from books and stuff, I'm pretty sure. But the only way I can learn how to do a business is by doing a business. This is something that I've learned from, not from experts, but from people in my life who've had a store, who have managed an online business, who've managed a coaching business. These, these are close friends of mine. Um, like They have told me that that's the only way you can do it. Now, what business, right? I've, I've always loved just everything related to like um, beauty and fashion and makeup and stuff. So I'm going to focus on that. Now, if any other avenue opens up and I'm interested in that, I'm going to try and do a business of that. But I want to focus on doing things that I, uh, that I want to buy myself. You know, I, I'm not going to focus on cryptocurrency right away because I at least have to understand what I'm dabbling into now. No hate on cryptocurrency. I'm just saying, don't dabble into things you don't understand. If you don't understand real estate, don't get into real estate because Grant Cardone tells you go into real estate. Don't do that. Uh, I just want to start small, but I just want to keep growing that way. I don't know how, where it's going to take me, but I'm just going to keep doing it. You know, I also like the supplement businesses. I also enjoy businesses related to fitness and business related to storytelling. Like I said, any kind of coaching business, whatever I can do. <clears throat> now, like I said, this is not this cannot happen by myself. The fifth thing, the fifth and final thing I want to focus on. This is the most important skill, I want to say. This is not a skill, but it is something that I want to focus on. Is building good friendships. I am a painful introvert. I am a pain in the ass introvert. Like I said, I love to tell stories, but in order to tell a story on paper, in order to craft a video 
like this if this were a very scripted video. This would have taken me two days of writing. I would have screamed at someone, you know, if, if I had a phone call, I would have thrown the phone away. I'm so painfully introverted. I have two best friends, two close friends, two best friends and two only friends. That's it. My mom being my second best friend. I'm just saying, I'm just kidding. No, my mom and my two best friends. That's it. That's all I have. I always thought that's all I need, but it's a dumb way of thinking. I want to build friendships and relationships with people that I can look into their eyes and tell them directly to their face when I am vulnerable, when I think they're going down a wrong path, when I think they are doing an amazing thing, when I think that I need help. I want friends that I can be blunt with, and I want friends that I can smoke a blunt with. So it's, I don't want uh, to build a network per se. Sure, I'm going to try and meet people who I just want to hang with. At the same time, I do want to pe meet people who I want to work with, sure. But I just want to build relationships with people. Not just like, rom I'm not talking about just romantic. Sure, that happens great, but it's not my focus. That's not what I'm talking about. I just want to build relationships with people that will last as long as my commitment to these five things. This is going to be a lonely, lonely journey. And if you think, and if I someday make the mistake of thinking that we can do this alone, that you can try it. But there are a lot of successful people who kill themselves. There are a lot of average Joes who kill themselves. There are a lot of people who just got married, who just had a promotion, that end up giving up on their jobs and moving on to another city. I hope I'm not screaming. <laughs> My neighbors are asleep right now. Anyways, but yeah. A lot of people fall into depressive states because of that. Um, I don't want to do that. I don't want to be one of those people. I am happy being alone. For the last three years since I've got my diabetes diagnosis and since I moved back home and lived with my mom, it's been kind of an embarrassing thing for me. And uh, all my other friends have, uh, most of my other girlfriends have gotten married, have started families, have, a, have at least started a career into something like being a lawyer. They have, one or two have had children, and I'm 26, and as a 26-year-old Indian from a very conservative family, I've already failed in the eyes of my relatives, in the eyes of my friends, old people that I've never, I haven't talked about, to, talked to for three years. So in their eyes, I'm already like, what am I doing? I'm making videos on YouTube. I'm writing a novel. What, what, what is it? So, as an Indian, yeah, it's doubly hard. Trust me, this is. The mindset is very different from the West, but being alone has also taught me how happy I am doing these things by myself. So I'm talking about day 21 days of doing this. I'm saying 21 days I've consistently done this. For the last three years, like I said, I focused on working out. Then I focused on writing 200 pages of my novel, like a bad draft. Then I started focusing on making a YouTube video. Then I made some podcast uh audios but I have never done them consistently together like I made a friend or two here and there never together it's like one thing takes priority over the other always but I don't want to do that anymore I want to do these things every single day at least 10 minutes a day at least for 10 minutes I want to talk to a friend or at least I try to make a new friend go outside and you know interact with someone join a club go to a gym talk to someone you know just 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 interact I want to learn a little bit about business. What's going on? What can I do? You know, can I start e-commerce? What, what's there? I want to uh, practice a little bit of like filmmaking. I want to go outdoors. I want to film something. I want to write and I write a sh short film script. I want to uh, continue writing my novel and I want to exercise and do this and that. It's just, I just want to focus on all of them because I have nothing else anymore. Now, like I said, before, like at the beginning, about humiliation. 
this is very important. I'm ready to get humiliated, okay? I've already lost everything. There's nothing to get more humiliated about. All I have is this. All I have is <laughs> you, my webcam, my microphone, and nothing else. Just like, oh, <laughs> my computer, I just freaked me out a little bit. The screen went off. So this is all I have. Like, what else can I get humiliated about? Oh, I go to stage, let's say. I decide to do a little bit of acting as a part of storytelling. Like, I decide to do a little bit of theater and get humiliated. So, it can be as bad as type 2 diabetes, <laughs> you know? Oh, I make YouTube videos. Nobody watches them. I watch them. My, best, my two best friends are going to watch them. What's the harm, you know? Thinking like that is keeping me back and is keeping you back as well. Now, this is something. I'm going to end this video. It's 25 minutes now. Oh, shit. <laughs> I'm going to end this video for with this message for you okay had to take a breather this is so important there are way more people in this world right now that are ready for you that are ready to watch you that are ready to experience your work please hear me out okay before you dismiss me before someone tells you if you Let's say you want to start a YouTube channel. Someone is telling you it's too late now. The the first, uh, what is it called? First responders? No, no, no. The early adopters. First responders? What the f***? <laughs> the early adopters have already taken the spot. It's too late to make it in the book industry. Music, the music industry is trash. Uh, all the inventions are done. There's no place to discover anymore. Whatever it is you want to do. Whatever kooky thing you have in your mind. Someone can tell you that. Let me tell you right now, there are just way more people connected right now. It, it is unfathomable how many people are connected together, okay? This is the perfect example. I'm talking to you right now from a tiny little corner in India. You have no idea where. You can probably guess, but, you know, it's somewhere in India. It doesn't even matter where. I'm talking to you from a teeny tiny corner in India. And you are probably watching me from some city in Kazakhstan. Wherever you are and wherever I am, geographically we are connected now. Geographically there are no boundaries for you and me anymore. There are no boundaries for anyone. What, whatever is your niche, whatever is your uh, uh, calling, your artwork, Whatever you want to do, there is way more people for you to reach today. There is way more uh, avenues for you to learn how to do something. If you don't know how to do it, there, is so, there are so many ways for you to do it anymore. There is no way anymore that you can sit there and say, Oh, I just, I just, I never went to school and learned that. So there's no way I can attempt it. You know, there's no way I can learn how to build cars anymore i don't know unless it is about saving lives and taking people out of jails you can learn it you can learn it right now there is no way you can't you know i'm doing this with a cheap webcam and a shit wi-fi connection that's less than one mbps you can do it okay whatever it is that you want to do there is an audience for you there. There are way too many people connected together now. There is, There are way too many platforms. There are way too many differences of op opinion right now. Everybody has that group that they want to focus on, that they can focus on. Everybody can build a following. I'm not talking about like just follows for numbers. I'm talking about you have a work that you've created and there are people, customers, audience, viewers, listeners, whatever it is, you know, contributors, patrons, ready to give you money. They are ready to watch you. Please don't make the mistake I made, you know. Don't make the mistake I made and think that, you know, like, we can just, we don't have to do this. Don't 
listen to the naysayers in your life and keep postponing your day one. I'm already more than day one right now. This is day one is just a, just a title, you know, but it is day one for me to keep going on this journey to, to keep reminding you of these and to keep making more tweets and more videos regarding this. I'm going to make more videos like this, not impromptu like this, like a rant. I'm going to try to, I, I, I can't help it. I have to chop it down and I have to like contain it or I'm going to keep rambling. But I just want you to stop listening to the naysayers and just attempt it because there is no reason you cannot get an audience anymore. With daily work, you can get the right people to listen to what you have to say, to see what you have to make, to to see what you have to show, to buy what you have to make. So I hope you start your day one as well. And I hope I can, there's no hope anymore because I've already been doing it. I don't have hope anymore. I'm just going to keep doing this. I'm going to stumble. There are some days when I'm going to fall. There are some days when that depression is going to come back. And my own self-therapy of, you know, trying to contain my OCD and my uh, everything that I'm going through can backfire. I am going to have to go back to my therapist and see what's up. But there's no way I'm going to (laughs) stop. There's no way. I am too focused and too determined to stop now. And I'm ready to fail. I'm ready to win, but I'm also ready to fail. I have no, I have nothing to lose anymore. You need to start. 